Hey Bulldogs, Chris Bryant here. Got a CCNA and CSENT practice exam and lab for you today with the incredibly imaginative title of Pick and Choose, which is exactly what you'll be doing to a question that I'm going to show you on the screen in just a moment. And this one I think has three or four right answers, maybe. It's one of those dreaded choose all that applies. And then I'm going to bring a rack of Cisco routers up and we'll see the answers in action. Quick commercial note, you definitely want to take advantage of this while it's running. We've got a stack of free hard copies of my CCNA study guide that are flying out the door fast because we're giving them away free with your enrollment in my CCNA video boot camp. If you don't want the hard copy, we'll give you a $20 discount. That's as good as it gets, and you definitely want to check that out. Let's hit today's question. Identify the true statements regarding the following command. And we've got a command of frame relay map IP 172.12.123.2 followed by a number 122. First thing we need to determine between A and B uh, is that 122 the local router or the remote router's DELSI. Or of course it could be none of them. C or D it's a legal command or an illegal command and obviously that's got to be one or the other. And then with E and F I'm asking you whether you could send routing protocol hello traffic with that command and then whether you could send pings successfully with that map statement. So if you need to pause the video for a moment, feel free. But let's go ahead and bring up the equipment. And I just happen to have a router right here with that command already on it. Nothing fancy here. We put frame relay on there. Because help me out again, what's the default for an interface serial, excuse me, a Cisco router serial interface? The default encapsulation is HDLC. It's not frame relay. So we've got to change it with the NCAP frame relay command. And since the router took my command, it looks like this is indeed a legal command. And it is fine by itself. Now, the number that follows the IP address, let's, let's dive in a little bit here and use, let's go with frame, excuse me for that scrolling there, frame map. Do, 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 do. And let's check out this syntax again, because you got to have this syntax down cold for these exams. We're going to go with IP here. Protocol specific address. Notice that it doesn't say whether it's the next hop address or the local address. This is going to be the next hop address. And it's the same one I put in before. And also notice that the iOS is not saying local Delsey or remote Delsey. It's just saying Delsey. So we got to know these things. With a frame relay map command, you're mapping a remote IP address to the local DELSI. So, so far with these top two choices, we know that the DELSI is the local value. So we're going to take B off of there. Now, whether it's a legal command or an illegal command, we know now that it is legal. So we could take D off. We know that A and C so far are the correct answers. Now, what about E and F? Are we going to be able to send either one of these kinds of traffic successfully with that statement? Hmm, let's go ahead and take a look up here, and we'll go ahead and put 122 in and look at iOS help here. And we've got a couple of options here, quite a few. Some you need to know now, some we're saving for your NP studies. But note the CR. So obviously this is a legal command by itself. But also notice the broadcast option. This encompasses broadcast and multicast. Excuse me for hitting that button. That encompasses broadcast and multicast. So the key here is without that broadcast statement, your routing protocol hello traffic cannot be sent successfully because all of that is either broadcast or multicast. What's the one hello traffic type you know of right now that's a broadcast? Most of it is multicast, but part of it, one type in particular, is broadcast. And that is RIP version 1. Now, could we send pings successfully with this? This catches some people, so let's go ahead and try pinging 123.2. And of course, this is assuming you have the correct configuration on the other end. And you can indeed send pings. This is why I refer to this every couple of months in my videos, uh, especially for newcomers, because I want you to see this. Because it's really easy to look at that frame map statement and say, well, if it doesn't have broadcast on the end, you can't send anything. Well, you can send pings successfully to that address that you've mapped to because pings are going to be a unicast. But your broadcast traffic 
and your multicast traffic will not be handled successfully unless you enter that broadcast option. So the final answers here, that 122 is the local router's Delsey. It is a legal command and pings could indeed be sent successfully. Be sure to check me out, especially on the blog at the bryantadvantage.blogspot.com and the YouTube channel. We're posting these quizzes all the time and it's the biggest summer in our history thanks to students and bulldogs just like you. I'm Chris Bryant. Thanks for watching today's video and for making TBA part of your certification success story.